briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A groundbreaking case from 1998, heard by the Minnesota Court of Appeals, hinged on the principle that for a defendant to be considered competent to stand trial, they must understand the court proceedings and collaborate with their attorney effectively. At the heart of this legal maelstrom was a juvenile named DDN, who faced accusations of attempted burglary. DDN pleaded that his mental handicap obstructed his capacity to comprehend the legal proceedings and obstructed his collaboration with his counsel. The prosecution contended that despite similar abilities, an adult would be ruled incompetent, whereas a juvenile could be deemed competent, a claim that was refuted by juvenile and adult court decrees. According to these regulations, a defendant must demonstrate competency by having the ability to engage with their lawyer and understand proceedings against them. In June 1997, DDN was charged, launching a 35-day evaluation, which concluded with the juvenile court ruling him as competent to stand trial. Having been adjudicated a delinquent, DDN moved to appeal the court's pretrial competency findings. The pivotal questions were, does the level of competency for a child differ from that required for an adult? What is the review standard for a child competency determination in an appeal? And did the trial court err in pronouncing DDN competent to proceed? As established by the judiciary, children and adults share the same competency standards for court procedures. Regardless of DDN's limited intellectual abilities, the court affirmed the lower court's verdict, judging DDN fit to proceed. This ruling underscored the principle that the defendant's ability to consult with counsel and comprehend proceedings solidified the initial findings of the juvenile court. The decision thus provides significant legal precedent, highlighting the stringent competency standards for court proceedings, regardless of age. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.